if you are going to be a giant killer, you need to be selective in your hearing because whoever you give attention gives you direction. First Samuel chapter 17 verse 45 Then David said to the Philistine you have come to me with a sword and with a spear and a javelin but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts the God of the armies of Israel whom you have defied this day the Lord will deliver you into my hand and I will strike you and take you ahead from you and this day I will give the carcasses of the camp of the Philistines to the birds of the air and the wild beasts of the earth that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. My God. Verse 51. Therefore David ran and stood over the Philistine. Took his sword and drew it out uh, of its sheath. And killed him and cut off his head with it. And when the Philistines saw that their champion was dead. They fled. Hallelujah. I want to speak on a prophetic message. That I believe is a word for somebody that is here tonight on the uh, 10 secrets of a giant killer you are seated here uh, tonight on this miracle monday service and you are asking woman of god am i really a giant killer i want to submit to you if there is a goliath in front of you there is a david in the inside of you god can never allow you to be confronted by a challenge you cannot conquer the aim of this message is just to awaken the giant that is inside of you i want you to have the heart of a champion the mind of an overcomer and the spirit of a conqueror as you leave this place i release over your life the heart of a champion the mind of an overcomer and the spirit of a conqueror lay your hand on yourself say i have the heart of a champion i have the, heart of a champion. I have the spirit of a, i have the mind of an overcomer and the spirit of a conqueror i want you to say it better than that proverbs 18 21 says the power of life and death is in the tongue and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof that means what you confess is what you possess say it like you mean it say i have the heart of a champion uh, let every devil hear it and let the heavens witness somebody say i have the heart of a champion i have the mind of an overcomer and the spirit of a conqueror i decree and declare by the end of this message you are about to overcome what has been overcoming you receive the heart of a champion receive the mind of an overcomer and receive the spirit of a conqueror through christ you are a conqueror in all things shout i receive all of us are familiar with the story of David. David was a young man that was anointed to be king at the age of, of 15. But it did not happen until he was 30 years. Every time I look at the story of David, it always reminds me that delay is not denial. To be delayed is not to be denied. That is why the Bible reminds us that though the vision tarries, it will surely come to pass. Can you imagine you are anointed to be king at the age of 15 but you sit at the throne at the age of 30 my god this is to encourage somebody that is here and you are like woman of god the promises of god have taken long and they are not being fulfilled in my life i want you to know delay is not denial so don't worry if whatever you have been praying for has been delayed but tonight in the name of jesus i want you to know the promises of god will be fulfilled in your life it doesn't matter how long it will take the promises of god will be fulfilled in your life because the promises of god are true and amen somebody say hallelujah, hallelujah. now watch this in this service i want to look at the 10 secret and i want to look at the life of david and the 10 secrets we can learn from the life of david somebody say i receive, I receive. say i am a giant killer i am a giant killer 
I want to declare by the end of this service. I don't know what giants you are facing. But as you learn these secrets of a giant killer. You will slay all the giants in your life. The giants of discouragement. The giants of depression. The giants of hopelessness. The giants of failure and past failures. I declare those giants are coming to an end in the name of Jesus. Somebody shout I receive. I receive. So I begin by looking at the life of David. David is an interesting and one of my most favorite characters from scripture. Just to look at this particular story of David and Goliath. Remember uh, David number one he was confident and courageous. That is the first secret of a giant killer. You know when Goliath came out and he threatened the children of Israel. Everybody went into hiding because of his size and because of his stature. Everybody was intimidated by Goliath including the sitting king because by this time remember David is not the king of Israel. Saul is the man that is seated on the throne. Nobody wanted to fight Goliath including the elder brothers that were already in training in the armies of Saul. Nobody wanted to fight Goliath and you can imagine by this time David is just a shepherd boy. He was just an ordinary guy but I thank God that God uses ordinary people for extraordinary assignments. Don't limit yourself because you are ordinary. As ordinary as you are you can do the extraordinary. My God so David was just a shepherd boy taking care of his father's sheep and the father gives him an insignificant assignment and says go and take some lunch for your brothers and so David now goes to the battlefield where uh, Goliath is coming out challenging the children of Israel to release a man that can fight him and you know he came out abusing and terrifying the children of Israel for 40 days and 40 nights so David I thank God he did not despise a small assignment he went and uh, he came to his brothers and he found when Goliath was coming out challenging the children of Israel together with the other Philistines on who would fight him and the Bible says and David began to ask what will be done to the man that brings this uncircumcised Philistine down I thank God that before David came everybody was talking about the problem but when David came he was a man of courage he started to introduce the name of his God he was like who who what will be done to the man that will defeat and fight this uncircumcised Philistine and you know one of the brothers started to silence him and he was like you know you are just a young man whom have you left those few sheep with my God I want you to know in the journey of life you are going to meet discouragers you are going to meet very draining people I like to call them VDPs tell your neighbor VDPs uh, look at your neighbor tell them VDPs very draining people you need to be selective in your hearing because as the brothers began to discourage him he now looked for somebody else tell your neighbor be selective in your hearing hallelujah I came to tell you if you are going to be a giant killer you need to be selective in your hearing because whoever you give attention gives you direction he was selective in his hearing and he began to go further and ask the people is there not a cause my God and you know now he began to talk to the right people and they were like whoever is going to fight this Goliath he will be number one his family will be made rich by the king number two his family will be exempted from task from paying taxes and number three they, he will also marry the king's daughter and David was like this guy I am going to fight him by force by fire and by thunder he was courageous if you are going to defeat the 
giants in your life. Number one, you've got to be confident and courageous. Touch your neighbor, tell them, be confident. Be, be confident. confident and courageous. Amen. You know, confidence does not mean you are not afraid. It only means you don't allow the fear to stop you. Be confident and courageous. That is why the Bible says, and God has not given us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power and of sound mind. Right now, I release confidence and courage in your heart and in your spirit. Tell your neighbor, be confident. Be confident. As you leave this miracle Monday service, I came to challenge you. Be confident. Touch your neighbor, tell them, be confident. Be confident. Lack of confidence will kill you. Same as Yetania Shindwem Fululizo. David approached every challenge in his life with confidence, with authority, and with courage. Number one, he was confident. Number two, David was a man of faith. This is the second. Uh, this is the second secret of a giant killer. You need to be a man or a woman of faith. Look at your neighbor. Tell them, be a man or a woman of faith. Let your faith be bigger than your fear. Everybody feared Goliath. You know, when everybody saw Goliath, he was like, this guy is too big. But when David saw Goliath, he was like, this guy is too big to miss. Hey. Hey. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. He's too big to miss. Let your faith be bigger than your fears. David's faith was bigger than his fear. Today in the name of Jesus, may your faith be strengthened as you hear this word. Because Romans 10, 17 says, faith comes by the hearing and by the hearing of the word of God. May your faith be strengthened. Receive faith for exploits. Receive faith to overcome your giants. Somebody say, I receive. Razokadesha ragadoza. Jesus. Number three. So number one, I said, David was confident and courageous. Number two, David was a man of faith. Number three, David knew how to handle criticism. Tell your neighbor criticism. When his brothers tried to criticize him and speak negatively to him, he did not entertain, he did not stand, he did not argue. He was selective in his hearing. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. neighbor. You need to know how to handle criticism. <laughs> Two dangerous things in life, and I'll tell you this, and I've looked, I've learned from the life of David. You need to learn how to handle praises from people and criticism from people. When it comes to criticism, don't let it get into your heart. When it comes to praises of people, don't let it get into your head. Because the same people that say to Jesus, Hosanna, Hosanna, they are the same people that said, crucify him. So two things you need to learn how to handle. The praises of men and the criticism of men. And you know, in the journey of life, no matter what you do, there will be somebody to criticize you. And if Jesus Christ, who is our role model in life and ministry, was criticized, yet he was without blame, what about me and you that are so imperfect tell your neighbor people will criticize you but the good news is your destiny is not tied to your critics tell your neighbor my destiny, my destiny. is not tied to my critics not tied to my critics. look at Jesus he was criticized by the systems of his day he was criticized for healing a man on a Sabbath he was criticized for going out for dinner with tax collectors but Jesus ran his race and fulfilled his destiny if you want to be a giant killer run your race and fulfill your destiny tell your neighbor run your race and your race. He did not allow criticism to stop him. That is the same thing with David. Don't allow criticism to stop you. Somebody say, I cannot be stopped. Cannot Lift be your stopped. hand and say, I cannot be stopped. I cannot be stopped. I cannot be stopped. I cannot be stopped. So Jesus was criticized by the self-righteous leaders of his times. And you know, the worst critics are the religious critics. But he did not allow it to stop him. Somebody like David, his own brothers are the ones that criticized him. And you know, it is worse when it is people that are close to you. Because it is only those that are close to the heart that can break the heart. 
but he still did not allow it to stop him look at Moses he was also criticized for marrying an Ethiopian woman by his brother Aaron and his sister Miriam tell your neighbor you will be criticized Paul was criticized for preaching the message of grace. So when you see people criticizing you, it has not started with you. So you just need to understand. Stay focused. Tell your neighbor, stay focused. So don't allow criticism to stop you. Your destiny is not tied to your critics. And that is why I said the other day, don't worry about who says anything. Because when God speaks, every other speaker becomes a noisemaker. God has the final word in your life. And as they keep talking behind your back, God is getting ready to bless you before their face. Hey, tell your neighbor, thank God. My destiny is not in the mouth of gossipers is not in the mouth of critics my destiny is in the hands of god so no matter what you do or how good you are people will always criticize because people that are committed to misunderstanding you will always misunderstand you the fourth secret of a giant killer david remembered past victories when he was brought, when he said he was ready to fight Goliath and he was brought before the current king's soul and he was like, before you count me out, allow me to testify. Hallelujah. He started to remember past victories. He remembered past victories because you know the guy was too young and he did not look qualified. But as I've said it before and I'll say it again, God does not call the qualified, but he qualifies the called. God God does not call the equipped, but he equips those that he has called. God does not call the prepared, but he prepares those that he has called. Hey. Hey. So when uh, Saul looked at David, he was just a young boy about 17 years of age. He was like, what? This is, the, this is the guy that wants to fight Goliath. But David told the king, before you count me out, let me testify. Tell your neighbor, can I testify? Can I testify? Uh, can I testify? Can I testify? And you know, some of us, that is the problem why we are not able to face our giants. We forget the things that God has done for us in the past. Because if God did it before, he can do it again. If he blessed you before, if he rescued you before, he can do it again. And I am declaring in this season, he will do it again. David said to the king, while I was taking care of my father's sheep in the wilderness, and the lion and the bear came, ah, I told the lion and the bear and the God that rescued me while I was in the wilderness the God that gave the lion in my hand and the bear in my hand he's going to help me fight this uncircumcised Philistine by the name of Goliath he remembered past victories tell your neighbor don't forget don't forget don't forget hey if God made the way before he can do it again if God helped you before he can do it again yeah, if he protected you before he can protect you again touch your neighbor tell them he can do it again he can do it again so today I want you to travel down memory lane and remember what God has done for you for one minute somebody say thank you Jesus thank you, Jesus. Thank you for past victories thank you for what you did you can do it again you can do it again you can do it again hey! God will do it again number five David knew the battle was the Lord's when he was facing Goliath he said you have come to me with a spear and a javelin but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts yeah, and he collected five smooth stones and you know I was wondering why five and I was seeing J-E-S-U-S -S. then he's saying Jesus then he's saying I come to you in the name of the Lord and the only name I know is the name of Jesus which according to Philippians 2 chapter 9 and verse 10 it is the name that is above every name that at the mention of the name Jesus every knee shall bow of 
dust in the heaven of dust in the earth and of dust under the earth I declare in this miracle Monday every situation in your life every giant in your life it will bow to the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus there is healing in the name of Jesus there is deliverance in the name of Jesus hey! That is why when we preach, we preach in the name. When we pray, we pray in the name of Jesus. When we cast demons out, we do it in the name of Jesus. When we lay hands on the sick, we do it in the name of Jesus. Shout Jesus! Jesus. I command every situation in your life, every giant in your life, the giant of sickness, the giant of poverty, the giant of infirmity, the giant of affliction to bow to the name of Jesus shout hallelujah, hallelujah. sit down tell your neighbor the battle is not yours the battle is the Lord's the minute that he said you come to me with a javelin and a spear but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts he automatically changed the battle from the physical to the spirit my God any battle you are facing in your life I declare God will fight for you the Lord is telling me to tell you that battle is not yours that battle is not yours that battle in the court case that battle in your family that battle in your office that battle in your business that battle in your calling the battle belongs to the Lord and there is no battle that the Lord has ever lost hey, when God is on your side victory is on your side hey somebody say J, J. E S U S hey how many letters are those and that is the name that is above every other name. And watch this now. Razo Kadesha Ragatoza. David understood the battle was not his, but the battle was the Lord's. Today, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare take the battle out of your hands. Any battle we have been fighting in the flesh, we take it out of our hands. We put it in the hand of the Lord. We put it in the hand of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, shout hallelujah. I want you for 10 seconds, lift up your hand. Any battle you've been fighting, commit it in the hand of the Lord. Shalabakados. Lika Rabazoya. Lemasha. Lika Doza. Lazo Kadesha Ragadoza. Lama Shande Bahanda Karoza. Lagadoza Ragadesha. Lipa Karabazoya and Abashata. Lika Rabababozeya and Abashata Kaladabazoya. In Jesus' mighty name. Number six. David did not give up giant killers don't give up touch your neighbor tell them don't give up tell your neighbor no matter what get up dress up show up and never give up look at somebody else tell them no matter what ah, tell them no matter how you feel get up dress up show up and never give up giant killers don't give up it doesn't matter the challenge or the giant it doesn't matter how many times you have failed before giant killers don't give up that is why the Bible says though a righteous man may fall down seven times he will rise again the Bible says rejoice not over me my enemy for though I fall I will rise though I sit in darkness the Lord will be my light hey! 
today no matter what don't give up no matter how long you've looked for a job don't give up no matter how long you've been in the same position don't give up no matter who walked out on you don't give up no matter who broke your heart don't give up no matter what you lost in the past don't give up no matter the past failures don't give up no matter the debts you are in or the crisis don't give up hey! touch two people tell them don't give up no matter how long you've been waiting on God don't give up don't give up don't give up don't give up giant killers don't give up and I want to close by telling you this if you are ready to fight your giant because I began by telling you if there is a giant and remember a giant symbolizes or Goliath symbolizes an obstacle a hindrance a stronghold if there is a Goliath in front of you there is a David in the inside of you now you are asking me this question but why does God allow us to face Goliaths or giants in our lives I'm here to close by answering that question whenever God allows you to face a giant it is not to demote you but to promote you hey! turn to your neighbor say neighbor the giant is not to destroy you but to promote you you are asking but what do you mean to promote me nobody knew who David was until he killed Goliath David was a nobody until he killed Goliath you are haters of a purpose tell your neighbor you are haters of a purpose hey! let your haters become your motivators that is why Psalms 23 verse 5 says and God prepares a table for me in the presence of my enemies he anoints my head with oil and my cup runneth over I want you to know that he prepares a table not in the absence but in the presence that means they must be there to see if there is no enemy there is no table that will be prepared can I preach to somebody tonight as I close I prophesy to every man and woman under the sound of my voice God will prepare a table for you in the presence of your enemies may God prepare a table for you can I prophesy I prophesy your enemies will push you to your miracle they will push you to your breakthrough they will push you to your promotion they will push you to your elevation they will push you to your greatness they will push you to your victory shout it yeah. father you spoke to me and you told me to come and teach on the secrets of a giant killer thank you for every man and woman under the sound of my voice father i release razo kadesh the heart of a champion the mind of an overcomer and the spirit of a conqueror i want you to pray that prayer point for yourself except from tonight I receive, I receive the, the heart of a champion. The heart of a champion. The mind of an overcomer. The mind of an overcomer. And the spirit of a conqueror. And the spirit of a conqueror. I am not a victim. I am not a victim. I am a victor. I am a victim. Begin to pray that prayer point. Lord, give me the heart of a champion. The mind of an overcomer. The spirit of a conqueror. As you're stretching your hands to the altar. I decree and declare over your life receive the heart of a champion receive right now the mind of an overcomer and the spirit of a conqueror in the name of Jesus from tonight I declare let the mercy of God overrule every judgment in our lives in the name of Jesus Razo Kadesha Ragados I stand on the name of Jesus to declare you will possess your possession 
in the mighty name of Jesus I prophesy where you have failed before go back and succeed in the name of Jesus you are a giant killer let every demonic power tonight that is working against God's prophetic agenda in your life be dismantled in the name of Jesus Razo Kadesh I scatter every force of darkness that hinders you from receiving what God has prepared for you I declare after this miracle Monday go and receive your financial breakthrough I receive. go and receive your promotion I receive. go and receive your business breakthroughs I receive. in the name of Jesus I receive. go and receive supernatural debt cancellation I go and receive a ministry breakthrough I receive. go and win that court case in the name of Jesus I receive. receive your tenders and contracts in the name of Jesus I receive I bless you today I bless you today I bless you today I bless you today in the name of Jesus